Hey everybody, and welcome to another episode of I Do Everyday Automation, where we talk about home automation projects to make your home smarter and your life easier. Today I want to show you guys a quick way to add Amazon Alexa to your Windows 10 PC. So I had a few people in the comments mention this, uh, you know, asking if there was other ways to use Alexa other than with an Amazon Echo, and there actually is. You can use the Windows 10 app by going to the Microsoft Store, and we're going to show you that here today. So the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously, is pull up the Microsoft Store. You go to Windows, hit the Start menu, and it should be under Microsoft Store. And then once you get to the Microsoft Store, all you have to do is search for Amazon Alexa and the app should come up. You're gonna hit install. It'll take a couple minutes to install. It's about 120 megs, so it may take a little while depending on your internet connection. Then once that's installed, you're gonna hit launch. From here, it's gonna ask you to set up your Amazon Alexa. You're gonna hit allow on the option to allow it to record your voice. You're gonna basically just be granting it permission to use the microphone on the PC. That's pretty standard. And you're going to type in your username and password for Amazon. And then from here, you're gonna be presented with the home menu with all of your different settings. Depending upon the PC you have, you may not be able to use the wake word option. So you may have to use the button at the bottom of the screen to launch Amazon Alexa. It may be kind of a bummer for some of you, but for others with newer PCs, this will work fine. Also, this does give you the option to use another device in other rooms other than buying an Amazon Alexa for every room. So once you install the Amazon Alexa app on your Windows 10 PC, this opens up the possibility for your home automation. You can run this app from anywhere. I tested mine over my VPN connection to see if it will work from outside the home, and it worked like a charm. So we're gonna go ahead and demo this real quick. Echo, turn on the kitchen light. That's how it means it was successful. Now, since I don't have the camera in the kitchen right now, we'll go ahead and do another command. Echo, what's the weather? In Manville, there's a freeze warning in effect Wednesday, November 14th from 12 a.m. to 9 a.m. The current weather is 40 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Tonight, you can look for cloudy skies moving in and out with a low of 32 degrees. So according to Amazon, all of the skills and apps that you have currently on your Echo, whatever model you currently have in your home, should be available through the app as well, which opens up the range of possibilities. With this running on a Windows 10 PC, you can pretty much order Uber, order pizza, you can run your home automation skills that you currently have enabled and configured. You can do just about anything you can do with an Amazon Echo. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. I just wanted to give you a quick alternative to purchasing additional Amazon Echo products. If you're going to be using them in conjunction with any of the smart home hubs we discussed on the channel, leave me a comment down below if you have any questions or comments. Let me know if you're going to be using the app. I'm going to leave a link to the Microsoft Store where you can get the Amazon Alexa app. Other than that, I will see you guys on the next one. Later.